Well, as if ESPN didn't control enough of the college football world already, it looks like that control is going absolutely nowhere. And in fact, you could argue they've potentially got more of a vice grip on it now. Uh, welcome into the channel. I am John Kurtz here on this channel. We talk college football, conference realignment, college basketball, all from a Big 12 angle. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Live shows Wednesdays and Sundays, they are a blast. We get a lot of people in there. It is a lot of fun. So please join us, and uh, if you subscribe, hit that bell. You'll know when it is that I'm going live. Please like the video as well, and leave a comment. Love me, hate me, agree, disagree. Uh, all of that stuff is great and very much welcome in the comments as it helps the YouTube algorithm. You can support the channel on Venmo as well at john kurtz 4 Just a minor update for you here. We saw the national championship game on Monday with uh, Michigan pretty much dominating Washington. We can say what we will about the officiating and some things that did go the way uh, of Michigan, Michael Penix being a little bit off, all of that. But in the end, one of the bigger headlines actually came to me before the game, and that was about ESPN. And it's also a hilarious headline that came before the game because of where it came from, from ESPN, about ESPN, and the future of the college football playoff, but yet no official comment from ESPN. I don't. The whole thing is bizarre and just such a sign of the times in college athletics right now and how much of a stranglehold ESPN and Fox have on absolutely everything. Because this story comes out about who's going to get the TV broadcast rights to the college football playoff when it moves to 12 teams next year and, and in the future. And it, it is just draped in ESPN coming from their own reporters. So clearly they're going to be able to control the narrative of the story. I mean, it's just hilarious. I'll, I'll read to you uh, here. It is it is a story by Heather Dinich and Pete Thamel. I saw Pete Thamel tweeting this and uh, tagging Heather Dinich in it. So two ESPN reporters responsible for this story that says... The college football playoff and ESPN are in the midst of negotiations to maintain the network as the sole rights holder of the event for the next eight years. Sources told ESPN on Monday. So the college football playoff and ESPN are in the midst of negotiations to maintain the network as the sole rights holder. Sources told ESPN. Uh, sure, I would imagine that's probably a pretty easy way to get some sources is to actually work for the company. Like a lot of conflicts of interest here, uh, but we we forge ahead. Uh, the deal would include the final two years on the current college football playoff contract plus a new six-year agreement for the next iteration of the playoff. Again, you will never guess this, but sources told ESPN. Uh, if ESPN remains the sole rights holder, it would be a significant change from what the 10 FBS commissioners and Notre Dame athletic director Jack Swarbrick had originally wanted, as all had been in agreement that multiple broadcast partners, a model similar to what the NFL has, would be best for college football. At least ESPN's reporters can acknowledge this in their own story about ESPN. Because, yes, I thought that was the road that we were going down. It would be better monetarily if you get multiple entities involved here, spread the love around a little bit. This is a sport right now that has the, uh, rightfully so, the stereotype that is completely controlled by two different networks. And instead, we're just going to play right back into ESPN's hands here, uh, I suppose does say nothing has been finalized and negotiations are ongoing, but sources indicated that ESPN is considering paying approximately $1.3 billion for the rights to the new six-year deal starting in the 2026 season. A lot of money in this, quite obviously, and uh, that's no surprise. I'm not shocked at all that it's over a billion. And I would also imagine that number is probably pretty accurate because, again, consider the source. I also, the next line in the story, guys, it literally says, ESPN declined to comment except the fact that their own reporters are characterizing whatever the narrative is going to be in the story that is coming out. I, to me, that's that's a form of comment, but hey, to each their own. Uh, it says ESPN is the sole rights holder in the current 12-year contract, which expires after 2025. College football playoff will expand from four to 12 teams this fall. Uh, college football playoff executive director Bill Hancock said the organization is no longer in the exclusive negotiating window with ESPN. If you'll remember... The exclusive negotiating window was an important part of the Pac-12 v. Big 12 battle when George Klievkov and company were in the exclusive negotiating window. They did not get anything worked out. Eventually, Brett Yormark and company would jump them in line to uh, take the ESPN and Fox deal that they did. Uh, college football playoff executive director Bill Hancock said the organization is no longer in the exclusive. Uh, I already told you that, didn't I? Uh, quote, I have to say this is a negotiation, and so I'm not going to be able to tell you much about it, Hancock said. We're happy with where we're at and not quite to the finish line yet. Uh, a subline. Now, this is something that is an important detail at the end of it, because, well, this is all about ESPN and feels like the whole thing could be 
whitewashed by ESPN here. You, you may still see games on other networks because a sub-license agreement was a sticking point that has been settled, according to sources. I, I guess I would imagine that that would be a sticking point on the ESPN side of things there, that maybe they didn't want to sub-license some of the games, and this is why everybody would agree to it. Uh, the agreement would give ESPN the, bil the ability to sell the rights to some of the games. This, again, if you have been following along with this channel for a long time, you'll remember back in the Pac-12 days, that was something they had talked about. If, like, Apple or Amazon would come in and buy all the rights, particularly I think it was Apple, there was talk, would they then sub-license some of those games out to other networks? Sub-license agreement uh, would give ESPN the ability to sell the rights to some of the games, uh, something Fox Sports would be interested in, sources indicated. You don't say... You don't say the Fox would be interested here. I would certainly imagine that they would be. Uh, Hancock said that if ESPN were to sublicense any games, the presidents would have to approve it. The 10 FBS commissioners in Swarbrick convened with the 11 presidents and chancellors who control the college football playoff for their annual meeting Monday morning before number one Michigan faced number two Washington in the college football playoff national championship presented by AT&T. Well, nothing concrete has been settled about the future TV rights in the new contract. Sources told ESPN it's something that all parties are eager to, eager to finalize. Uh, don't have a timeline, Hancock said. We are getting close. Another note from that, there was a tweet from Ross Dellinger that indicated there was no official announcement yet on it being the 5 plus 7 format, 5 highest ranked conference champs, 7 at large bids. That's still obviously overwhelmingly the expectation, but it did seem like there was a possibility we would get that out there for sure, and uh, I do not believe that we have that, at least as I sit here on Tuesday evening delivering this news to you. So there's an update. ESPN, according to sources at ESPN, but through no official comment of ESPN, is likely going to have the broadcast rights for the college football playoff moving forward. Sources told ESPN. Uh, okay, thank you for being here. Make sure you subscribe. Get ready for the live show coming up uh, tonight, Wednesday, Sundays, live shows. Great time. Make sure you're there. Uh, we'll chat it up, man. Conference realignment, college football, college basketball, always on the docket. Make sure you like the video. Leave a comment. What do you think about all this? Are you Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you out on ESPN controlling everything right now? Uh, let it all fly in the comments and uh, like the video. And you can support the channel on Venmo at john kurtz 4 Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you guys, and I will talk to you soon.